Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome. In this episode, we're going to be covering a bunch of different things about Android development. So if you're just jumping into the series, this might be a good place to start because we're going to start building apps. Now, if you're brand new, I'd actually encourage you to start this series from the beginning because we cover some essential foundational concepts that are, that's going to set that, that foundation for success. But if you're just jumping in, you want to go from here, by all means, go for it. I'm not going to tell you otherwise. Um, but basically, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to talk some about the layout, a little bit with working with Android Studio, and we're going to talk about the basics of the setup for an Android application. So pay attention. You don't want to slack off yet. So what we're going to do first off is if your screen looks a little bit different than mine, maybe you have some stuff open or whatever it might be, what you can do is you can go to Window, Restore Default Layout. So anytime you mess up your layout, you can click that to get back to the default. The next thing is when you open some code. So if you go over to project and you open up one of these files, let's just, let me just open one. It doesn't really matter. You'll notice the text is really small, really small in here. And you might try holding command or control and hitting the plus key like some other editors allow you to do. And it doesn't work. But what I can do is I can hold command and I can scroll in with two fingers or if you're on Windows you could just use like the scroll on the on the mouse or on the, the trackpad and that should work the same way but if you're trying that and it's not working let me show you how to make that work what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Android Studio and go to preferences if you're on Windows it's probably somewhere similar and then what we're gonna do is go to editor general and there's this one here you can check which says change font size with command plus mouse wheel so make sure that's checked and hit OK now you should be able to scroll in so you can see it nice and easy. Beautiful. Now the next thing I want to talk about in this episode are some of the key files. So if we just X out of this and take a look at our project over here on the left, close everything, and just open up app. Now in here you're going to see a lot of different files. You can see one that says Java and then another one that says Java with a generated in parentheses. The one we're interested in is the Java without the parentheses. This is generated. So we're going to open this one, and we're going to open that first folder, My Application, by clicking the triangle to expand it, and we're going to open the main activity. Now, if you remember from a an earlier episode, the activities act as the different pages of your application. So the code might look something like this. Your code should be pretty much the same. It should be exactly the same, honestly. So this is what code we have so far. When the application runs, this is where it starts. It starts on line 11. Now, there's another important file you should know about, and that is if you open up the res folder, and then layout, and then activity underscore main dot XML. So this is the structure of your application. So there's two pieces for this activity. There's the code for the activity, and then there is the layout for the activity. Now, when you're on this page, this is going to be where you do your, your visual editing, but if you want to build functionality, you're going to be doing that inside of the Java file, the .java. So get your file extensions figured out. You can see main activity .java, that's for code. Activity underscore main .xml, that is for structure. XML defines the layout, Java defines the functionality. So for example, this here is an example of a method, and it defines what happens when the, the first activity is created. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm back, I just threw up. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the .java file is the code for the application, or the activity, and the .xml is the structure. So get your file extensions figured out and understand where to find them. And that is the basis because when we go and add new activities, you'll know where to put them and which files go where and where everything happens. So thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we are going to be talking about something new. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.